Hello and welcome to Home Cooking Spain. Today I'm going to be cooking Spanish Torrijas, a traditional Spanish Easter dessert. So let's begin. So we're going to start off by cracking four eggs. and we'll give them a good beating. Right, so we'll put that to one side. Okay, so next, I've got a French baguette here. It's a couple of days old, so it's hardish. You can use any other type of bread. I have used normal sandwich bread, the thick one, but I don't recommend it because it gets too soggy. So I'm using a French baguette and let's take the tip off. And we're going to cut it like this in lengthways, or sort of diagonal, like that, about an inch, two centimeters, two and a half, roughly. Okay, that's done. So, Keep these for the birds. On to the next step. Okay, so the next step will be to grab a, a sort of deep dish and I'm just going to cover the bottom with some milk and the bread, I'm just going to put it in here. So that it'll soak up. I might not be able to fit it all, but you get the drift. And then I'll just add more on top. Basically, I want the the bread to soak up the milk. So let's turn it over. I would just leave it there for a couple of minutes. So I've got a frying pan here and I've got about a centimetre and a half of um, sunflower oil. You can use the vegetable oil also. I'm not using um, olive oil because it's too expensive for this because once you do these the oil will be quite useless. So we'll wait for that to heat up. So while we wait for this to heat up, we'll start getting this ready. Look, they've sucked up all the, the milk already. So what I'll do, I'll do two at a time. And I'll put them in the, I might do three. Nah, two will be all right, just in case. And what I'll do, I'll add a bit more milk there and add the other two that I've got left over. Okay, so these, I'll turn them around. This can be a bit messy to do, but hey, that's the effort you have to make to get a nice dessert. So we'll wait for this to heat up nicely. Right, I'm going to check if the oil is hot. Toothpick, and if it's bubbling, it means it's hot. So the next step is to add these in. Oh, this looks a bit hard, this one, because it's starting to break. 
That's the problem with these. You've got to be so careful because they'll just break, you know. There you go. And I'll add a couple more here. And we'll fry these for about a minute before turning them over. See the other side? Yeah, look, they're browning off nicely. So what I can do before turning them over, I'll add another one in and we'll keep it going, you know. The harder the bread is, the, the easier it'll be, you know. Because they won't sort of break. So we'll fry them for about a minute on each side. And once they're done, I've got a plate here, some paper towels. See, this is how they should look like. So we'll just put them on there, the ones that are ready. And we'll keep doing it until they're all way, all done. This is the problem with these, they're so fidgety. I think the bread should have been older. Two days wasn't enough. There you go. Well, so once they're all ready, what I'll do is sprinkle sugar over them. And I'll turn them over and do the same on the other side. It's really hard to do this and record at the same time. So I'm sorry, my apologies if everything seems a bit messy. There you go. So I'll add some more salt onto that side. You don't have to. There are other ways to do this, but this is the most basic way. Right, so these are done. So what I'm gonna do to show you, I'm just gonna grab one and put it on here. These you can just eat them like that with your hand, you know. Look at that. It is gorgeous inside. Hope the camera picks that up. It's really nice and soft and these you can either eat them like that hot hot 
or, or warm, but our favourite way to eat them is cold. So what we do is get a container for the lid, airtight lid, I'll put a paper on there and I'll store them there and they'll last for about three or four days. Well, I hope that you enjoyed today's quick recipe video. Any questions, leave me a comment and I'll answer you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching and goodbye.